Hello dear students. Today section is NEET class 3 chapter 2nd structure of atom. Here we consider only 3 questions. The first question is the number of protons, neutrons and electrons in lutetium its atomic number is 71 mass number is 175 respectively are. This is a previous year question that is here given that only lutetium atom its atomic number 71 mass number 175 question is that calculate the number of protons number of protons and also number of neutrons and then number of electrons from these two values we can calculate these three terms we know that atomic number that is denoted by the letter EZ is equal to 71. That is atomic number is same as the number of protons. Number of protons that is also equal to number of electrons. So number of protons is equal to 71. Number of electrons is equal to 71. That is HOECC's answer 71, not 4, 104 and 71. So number of proton, number of electron, electrons are same. So answer is this one. And also then we can also find out number of neutrons from mass number. Its mass number is equal to 175. We know that mass number is equal to number of protons plus number of neutrons. So number of neutrons can be calculated by taking the difference between these two terms. That is equal to number of neutrons is equal to 175 minus number of protons. That is equal to 71. The answer is the difference between these two terms, the, the entire answer is 104. So this is the correct answer. First A choice is the correct answer. Then second question. Second question is related to node. That is very important topic in plus one chemistry. Node. Node. There are two types of nodes. That is spherical node. Spherical node and also angular nodes. These are two types of nodes, spherical or radial nodes, angular or planar nodes. Spherical nodes can be calculated by using an equation n minus l minus 1. Angular node can be calculated by using l value. That is l value is the asymmetric quantum number. n is the principal quantum number. Total node means sum of these two terms. That is spherical node n minus l minus 1 plus l. Total node is equal to this one. That is equal to answer is n minus 1. From these two equations, from, from these we can calculate angular nodes and total nodes. Here we consider only the orbital corresponding to angular node. That is angular node value L is equal to 3. Angular node is equal to 3. And also total node. Total node means n minus 1. Total node means n minus 1. That is also given 3. 3. So n is equal to 3 plus 1 is equal to 4. That is n gives the main shell. So this is the fourth shell. First point is the fourth shell. L value gives the idea about the subshells. Subshells means SPDF subshells. That is we know that L is equal to L is equal to 0 which corresponds to S orbital 1, 2, 3, 4 etc. That is 1 corresponds to P orbital, 2 corresponds to D orbital, 3 corresponds to F orbital etc. That is L values gives the idea about the subshells. Here L is equal to 3. L is equal to 3. That means that that orbital is F subshell. That is orbital F subshell. That F subshell is present in fourth shell. N minus 1 value is equal to 3. So, N is equal to 3 plus 1 is equal to 4. Fourth shell. That is 4F orbital. Answer is 4F orbitals. Orbital having angular momentum. Sorry. Orbital having angular node 3 which corresponds to F cell. F subshell and total node is 3. That is equal to N is equal to fourth subshell fourth subshell so the orbital is 3 means f then fourth subshell answer is c 4f orbital
then next question is next question third question related to the energy energy term it's a problematic question calculate the energy in joule unit unit is also given corresponding to light of wavelength lambda wavelength denoted by the letter lambda that is equal to 45 nanometer and also given h value planck's constant 6.63 into 10 raised to minus 34 joule second speed of light that is denoted by the letter c is equal to 3 into 10 raised to 8 meter per second calculate the energy e value we know that the energy equation e is equal to h nu first we consider the energy equation e is equal to h nu but in the question wavelength is given so wavelength is denoted by the letter lambda that is equal to 45 nanometer and also h value is the planck's constant its value is also given in the question that is equal to 6.63 into 10 raised to minus 34 unit joule second and also c is the velocity of light 3 into 10 raised to 8 meter per second then nu is the frequency we know that nu has a relation with the lambda value nu is equal to c by lambda this is very important term nu frequency is the velocity of light divided by wavelength lambda so this equation becomes e is equal to h into c by lambda substitute these values in this equation lambda is equal to 6.63 into 10 raised to minus 34 into velocity 3 into 10 raised to 8 divided by here unit is meter per second but wavelength is in nanometer first we convert the nanometer into meter that is equal to 1 nanometer is equal to 10 raised to minus 9 meter that is this is equal to 45 into 10 raised to minus 9 nanometer so e is equal to 6.63 into 10 raised to minus 34 into 3 into 10 raised to 8 divided by 45 into 10 raised to minus 9 by calculating these terms we get 4.42 into 10 raised to minus 18 joule that is 6.63 into 3 divided by 45 first we calculate these three terms that becomes 15 6.63 divided by 15 is equal to 0.442 that is the first term then calculate the tenth power tenth power means next term is 10 raised to minus 34 into 10 raised to 8 divided by 10 raised to minus 19 that is 10 raised to minus 34 into 10 raised to 8 into this becomes 10 raised to 9 that is equal to thanks for watching please subscribe my channel